Hey Bat fans, Luke here, back with the next installment of Batmas 2020. And this video, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, has been <laughs> it, it has kicked my butt. This has to be, I think, the fifth time I started this video. And to put it in context as to how bad it was, it, it wasn't necessarily the content. I'll get into that in a minute. This is how bad it was. About four times prior it was just didn't work I had to sit there take a break <laughs> go get a workout in take all my supplements <laughs> get in the right frame of mind and try take five that is how hard <laughs> this video has been for me and the reason why to be honest it uh, this was the original book I was gonna do this video on and it, it was a uh, going to be Batman R.I.P. Uh, this is part of the Grant Morrison epic Batman run. It was out there and kind of put it in context, which I'm sure you heard, probably heard this about a billion times. It would go something like this. You would have Batman and Son, technically Resurrection of Ra's al Ghul, the Black Glove, then this would be this next installment in the main Batman title. And anyone will tell you, <laughs> once you get into some Grant Morrison work, it's going to be a bumpy ride. And it's not that it's his work is bad. Some people like it. Some people don't. It's that for the most part, it is very layered and in-depth, especially his Batman books. You will hear folks who've uh, been doing this YouTube thing for a while. You hear... Kind of like the phrase, you know, some people feel you need to have a PhD in Batman to really enjoy, you know, Grant Morrison's Batman run. And to be honest, I think there is some validity to it. And not necessarily to enjoy it. <laughs> I would take and, and argue that maybe it is to really get the full context, all the layers all the references that Grant Morrison is trying to tell in his Batman stories, you might kind of need some little, you need some Batman knowledge in, in your bat utility belt. Uh, to say, I would not, it would be unrealistic to think you have a brand new reader. Come in, read, especially not in order. My God, if you read his stuff out of order, you're going to definitely lose the full context. But, um, new beginners coming in it can be kind of a challenge if you're trying to understand the full scope of what he's trying to tell you that said dot 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 comma i still think you can enjoy the story he's trying to tell but if you don't again kind of have all the prior batman stories kind of under your belt going into it you won't get the full context and here we go again. I'm three minutes in this video. This is why I had to keep stopping because it is so easy to go down rabbit hole after rabbit hole after rabbit hole, get diverted into references, and this could turn into a 30 hour video. And to be honest, I'm trying to keep these things to about 20 minutes. And that is why this is take number five. So, Batman RIP. Again, gonna have to call an audible here I'm actually gonna review another book and the reason I chose this next book that we're actually gonna review in Batman RIP's place is some of the things that you will see in Batman RIP where again if you're kind of new into Batman or you're reading it I don't, I don't think you'll ruin totally the reading experience but there is some nods to Batman history in these some references that if you kind of know about it you'll pick up on it and again kind of get the full context to what Graham Morrison is trying to tell you and the best the, not the best part here is I'm not going to go in depth of Batman Black Up but I'm going to pull up a couple pages in this and this right here is the Batman of Zoran R and if you kind of get the gist what happened with Black Glove there's a reference to the Batman of Zoran R more to what the story tells you and here about you know, the Zorro and Arkham reference with Thomas Wayne right before he died. Um, not that. Also, this thing right here, if you read this book, you know that's the Bat Radia. 
again reference to something previously but the big one I want to go ahead and pull out here is this panel right here this is about another one that might get into that in a minute this is about oh if I'm looking at the story this is about a third of the way through this is right after again where Batman has decided to uh, pick up uh, the Batman of Zoran R the ultra kind of what Batman is, I gotta be careful again, going in a rabbit hole, see how hard this is. Actually, I'm not even gonna go there. Because again, I'm not really reviewing RP, I'm getting into something else. So, here's some dialogue, I'm gonna read it right out to it. So this is a conversation really between Batman, or I'm sorry, Bruce Wayne and, and, and Batmite. He says, did, did something happen to my mind, old chum? It seems so much faster now, clearer, simpler, like a streamlined engine, a silver bullet. Batmite says to him, Blame Zuran R, a place you once saw in a flashback hallucination introduced by Professor Milo's guy weapon. A planet with two Batmen, where you were super strong and vulnerable and immortal with a technologically and mentally advanced double called Tatano for a buddy. Paging Dr. Freud. And I won't go any further than that, but this again. If you're brand new to Batman, some of this stuff, you might not totally pick up on it. But these are all references to old Batman stories. And what Grant Morrison tried to do when he picked up on the Batman title was to really try to make sense of all the Batman history and make everything count in modern canon. And how does he do it? He does this through the story of R.I.P. This was kind of like when he was offered the title, when he started again with you know, Batman and Son and kind of morphed on all the way up to Batman Incorporated. These are ways that he's trying to pull all of the previous Batman stories and say it all happened and here's what I'm going to try to make sense of it. And this ultimately, while you might see some of it specifically in Batman and Son and you'll see some of it a little bit, I mean, the Black Glove which is kind of like really the start, but the meat of everything he's trying to tell you and how this all happens is through Batman R.I.P. And those references, believe it or not, can be found collected in a book called The Black Case Book. Now, in R.I.P., Bruce Wayne is going to reference The Black Case Book as kind of like his journal to like all those kind of like the X-File cases, those weird ones you really can't explain in his earlier career, and he kind of jots it down. And that's even referenced into modern comics, what's going on right now, believe it or not, in Peter Tomasi's detective run. But DC kind of took this one step further with that Black Case book and said, hey, concept, let's take and let's collect a bunch of those old Batman stories that kind of serve as an influence to what Batman RP is and all those little nicks and nods all those prior things that are in there and beyond and Grant Morrison run let's collect them in this thing we'll call it the black case book and this believe it or not I in highly recommend this so before now I'll say that to the end I'm gonna say when do you actually read this this is gonna be if you're expecting anything modern in here again you're not gonna get this is like the Silver Age Batman early on even like the golden age you're gonna see a lot of old stories now not really golden age that's really bad this is kind of like the the 60s types of stories the cha the campy you know chummy type of thing the batman duly deputized agent of the law type of thing this is like those types of stories but again these all serve to kind of as like the the influence to specifically batman r.i.p uh, the first story, a partner for Batman, to be honest, I had a hard time trying to connect any nods to it, to anything in specifically in, in uh, Grant Morrison's run. But you will start to see him in the second story, which is called Batman Indian Chief. And specifically in Batman R.I.P., you're going to see one of these characters from this thing called... Um, actually, you know what? Uh not the legion of superheroes oh my lord uh club of club of, oh geez oh man totally blanking on it we'll get into that in a minute um club of heroes yes the club of heroes 
So, and one of those characters is actually the Indian Batman. You actually see the introduction of actually Batman becoming this uh, Indian Batman, which you actually see again in the Club of Heroes. Um, actually, this character kind of comes in canon as kind of like the real thing. And actually, first introduction to that is in this story. The next story, uh, the Batman of all nations. This kind of takes that Batman Indian chief uh, character concept, and this is where you actually see, you know, the seeds of you know the Club of Heroes, and then what later will become, you know, Batman Incorporated, where you have all these people wanting to become like Batman uh, away from the United States, and they actually come and actually try to help out Batman solve a case. Uh, awesome story, but again, this is like the the little kernels for the club of heroes which you really would see in batman the black glove but you'll see again uh toward the end the climax of batman r.i.p and really in batman incorporated uh let's see the next story in here is the first batman again if you're reading batman r.i.p thomas hurt i'm sorry dr hurt he wears this kind of costume and if you, again if you read if you read it you'll kind of get the gist this is actually that nod. Actually, the whole premise for what Thomas, uh, or Dr. Hurt, is actually saying in Batman R.I.P. that he's really Thomas Wayne. The Colonel is actually late in this. This is actually Thomas Wayne actually wearing the costume, actually becoming technically the first Batman. And it's actually explained in this. And again, the whole costume, you, you've seen Dr. Hurt. Especially with that mask and the capes kind of secondary, but really a prominent figure to Dr. Hurt when he's wearing a costume is that mask. That seed is here, and this is where Grant Morrison is referencing that. Um, the next story, uh, let's see, Superman and Batman together uh, in the Club of Heroes. The premise is right here, and if you read the... Uh, the, uh, the Black Glove... One of these individuals that she will mention actually um, get referenced into that is Mayhew. And gentlemen, John Mayhew. And if again, if you read The Black Glove, actually John Mayhew's here. The connection with the Club of Heroes, it's referenced right here. Them come together. That one first meeting Batman really only attended was this very first one. That was kind of it. That's referenced right here in this story. Uh, next story in here. The Batman, the man who ended Batman's career. Uh, this one, remember that prem, that excerpt I kind of um, referenced in there where it says Dr. Milo? Well, actually, Dr. Milo, what he's actually talking, there's Dr. Milo right there. And while it was kind of a little bit of a twist, because in here, basically, rather than a gas, he actually used uh, kind of like a light that kind of instilled fear into Batman. So while it's not necessarily a gas, which triggers the Batman's R and R kind of concept, but the seizure right here, this is actually the premise for it. Uh, the next story in here, am I really Batman? If you read Batman RP, you'll get the whole part about the isolation chamber. And this right here is kind of like the nod to it. Um, Actually, no, let me take that back. Wrong story. <laughs> Wrong story. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, it's kind of more of the fallout to the Dr. Milo, uh, what he was talking about in the fear. Hold off to that concept with the, the isolation chamber. The Batman, the Batman, the Superman of Plan X. Batman Zero R. This is it. Remember that Bat Radia we were talking about? This is actually a gift for the Batman of Zero R, who was actually another Batman from a, another planet. And. Uh, this kind of was the kernel for that right here explains it right here is Actually rather than a different persona. This is the real the original Batman and Zernar So the the kernel for that concept laid right in this story right here You kind of get the gist for what Grant Morrison's trying to reference uh, Batmite Batman meets Batmite uh, again, here it is the first introduction of uh, Batmite where Grant Morrison's pulling that from comes from this story that's enclosed in this collection of um, the case the rainbow creature this was when uh, In RP for the first time you kind of see it really uh, prominently when he's with uh, Jezebel Jet and right when he actually sees the Zurin R uh, 
images on the screen in the back cave you kind of see these flashes of the rainbow creature what's that mean and that's referenced right here the next one another uh, thing that's actually referenced in that story when that screen pops up and also later referenced in the story when he talks about his black his black case book we actually see in this panel this looks like thing robin dies at dawn and this is the stone idol this right here again flashing on that screen as he sees batman zoranar he starts to trip or he's actually um, ultimately held captive by Dr. Hurt and he gets uh, shot up by those uh, drugs this is the, the creature right here that actually shows up on that screen reference right here uh, again part two of Batman uh, Robin dies at dawn continues on with that and I think got one more story if I recall correctly uh, yes this one right here this one's a real faint reference the Batman creature you actually see again uh, during the the journal entries for the black case book um, you actually see a panel of Batman with the old Batwoman kind of running through the jungle well that's actually excerpt in this story right here as you kind of see again these kind of creatures that are kind of zorped um, zorped <laughs> uh, transformed into kind of people but they're kind of like a, a breed between people and creature again that's right here and I, I think that's really is the last part of the story this all goes back to kind of getting more of the, the context that Grant Morrison's trying to tell when you read his run. And a lot of it is in R.I.P. But this really right here tells you in the story. The stories that inspired Batman R.I.P. I highly recommend this book. It's They're relatively short pages. Again, you got to understand what you're getting into. This is kind of like those campy Batman stories. Uh, the chummy, the whole Batman 66-like type of um, feeling. You're going to get that in this book. You're not going to get anything modern. But they're good stories. Man, it, it, it makes you kind of, again, I, I'm not going to get into the whole Batman 66 argument, but I think there's a place for those classic Batman stories, and you can actually read them and get some enjoyment out of it. And um, it, it's a fun read. They're relatively short. And when I say short, I mean, they might have you know good amount of pages, but... You, they're not really wordy and the good panels that classic are they're good stories but again this gives you more the context of some of those Batman stories uh, specifically in, in Grant Morrison's run so when do you read this to believer I'm gonna recommend if you haven't read Grant Morrison's run yet read this first being that again this gives you the context to it but if I will say if you're kind of if you read you know the Grant Morrison run and you kind of you've been hearing about those references you don't really know what they're talking about pick this up this gives you that context the downside to this I think this is out of print um, so anything new it might be kind of hard so hopefully you can get it in the secondary market $17.99 I think for a collection how many stories you get you get a lot um, it just might be kind of hard to get your hands on it but man if you see it grab it up um, even if you're paying a little bit more you know the 20 25 bucks it's worth it uh, but you might get lucky I know my comic book store here and even my go home to Pittsburgh I haven't really seen it in a couple of years I remember seeing it a couple of years ago but not recently uh, but not to say that it's not impossible to get it uh, especially since I think this is connection to Grant Morrison, you might be able to get your hands on. It. So, recommend it. I'm giving this believer. I'm gonna give it a four point. Uh, I'm gonna give it a four point five out of five. I would really, I'm inching to give this thing a five out of five. But again, I think it's just more because of connection to the Grant Morrison part of it that kind of gives me more of an oomph. Where it, that's maybe why it's kind of pulling it back. If I'm getting a five out of five, but. 4.5 out of 5. Highly recommend. Definitely pick this up. So, anyway, hit me up in the comments below. I would love to back chat about this one. I do think I will try one Grant Morrison story in this Batman 2020 uh, video series. Just trying to figure out which one. Because, again, <laughs> you can get. It's hard to stay on track and without zigzagging and going really. And down some rabbit holes. So, anyway, until next video, take care.